Good afternoon, everyone. Colonel Aldous Valor here with you once again. And um, rarely do I ever talk about current events. Um, whenever I do, it, it's usually in passing and as a punchline to a joke or something. Um, but today I felt the need before beginning this presentation to begin today with um, a small disclaimer just for the sake of context in posterity. Today is Tuesday, November 17th. It is exactly four days after the deadly shooting attacks in Paris that claimed over 120 lives. That happened uh, Friday, November 13th, 2015. If you're watching this video several years from now, I want to uh, point out to you that there used to be a day when feminists cared more about safe spaces than they did countries where women are legally relegated to second-class citizens. <laughs> now, silly me, I honestly thought that the events of last Friday would be enough to quell the sort of rhetoric that uh, certain feminists here on YouTube have been espousing. Roll the clip. And if you're one of his subscribers and you are offended by that, I'm sorry, but a lot of his subscribers have a fascist mentality, which is free speech is only for them, and everybody else gets silenced by mobs of terrorists. It's what they're doing to me right now. He proves why that letter-writing campaign was necessary by his actions right now. So as I said, the reviews are coming down. You're not going to do anything. It's a well-documented terror attack. This past Sunday, in an effort to uh, see if that was the case, I decided to try and uh, wrestle Kevin Logan's jonies over Twitter with this tweet. And I'll put it up on the screen now. As you can see from his reply, one tweet was all that it took. As easy as it was to do that, I mean, it only took one try. I decided then to go for the high score and get Kevin to cry into his flashlight. I did this by pointing out, I mean, who remembers who remembers the, uh, the Laughing Witch fundraiser? Of course, everybody does. I did this by pointing out that the funds were being collected either for a business that was already filing for bankruptcy or for a business that didn't need the funds in the first place because as Laughing Witch says now, business is booming. And then he did it. I didn't think he would. I honestly didn't think he was this stupid, but he did it. Two days after the, the legitimate terrorist shooting in Paris, he didn't just double down on stupid. I dealt him two sixes against a king and he split those sixes into two sixteens and then doubled them both. Yes, his attempt at terrorism backfired. That's right, guys. According to Kevin Logan, the uh, 200-some negative Yelp reviews that have been erased as though nothing has ever happened are exactly as bad as the terrorist shooting in France that claimed 129 lives. He would go on to attempt to defend his position by saying that terrorism has no definition. That's right, it's a word with no definition. So, to, to, to back up his claims, he decided to cite Wikipedia as a source. Now, I'm not saying that anyone should go to Wikipedia and edit Wikipedia's article on terrorism to say that it's whenever Kevin Logan releases a YouTube video. But I am saying that if somebody were to do that, it would be hilarious. Now, if all of this isn't enough to make your skin crawl, remember, Kevin Logan is a feminist. He and his group believe that we live in some mythical rape culture where rape is trivialized by comedians. I suppose we can't blame him. He's got his head so far up Jenny McDermott's ass. It's like uh, a staged production of the human centipede. But no, he and his kind believe that rape is being minimalized by statements like 
The casino raped me last night, while at the same time minimalizing rape themselves by attempting to make any sexual transgression exactly as bad as rape. Not to mention the fact that they want to lower the burden of proof on rape cases so that merely an accusation is enough to convict. But if that wasn't bad enough, now they're attempting to do the same thing by redefining terrorism. According to Kevin Logan, the threshold of terrorism is so low that it now includes organizing to say mean things about somebody online. And that is pretty damn close to perpetuating terrorism culture. But hey, under that definition, Laughing Witch is a terrorist too. Tempt me not again, Mr. Logan, to repair to the larder and unseal yet another tin of whoop-ass.